Hello from one of the rainiest but most interesting parts of Spain, Galicia. We're at the Estadio Abanca Balaidos in Vigo. My name is Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It's Celta Vigo and they face Al Nasser. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And the starting lineup for Celta Vigo. Well, this system gives them a good defensive base. A well drilled back four, a solid midfield with wide players tucking in, and two balls who can press the ball. But does it provide enough fluidity going forward? I'm never sure. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Marcelo Brozovic plays alongside Luis Gustavo in the centre of midfield. And the starting role and attack is handed to Cristiano Ronaldo. And the match begins. And a timely intervention. Ronaldo, a real opening now. Oh, that was a chance to give them an early advantage. Well, they should be off to a flyer here, and that was a poor effort. He must hit the target. Servi. Well, for many, the focus of attention will be on Iago Aspas. Stuart, in your opinion, what might he deliver today? I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders, he's got that ability to run with the ball into open space, he can pick out a pass, he can wriggle out of tight situations. He's the most creative player on the field today. Oh, it's developing nicely for them here. And this time the run, sadly, that's offside. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Speculative effort. Well, straight at the goalkeeper then. Really poor timing, and some will argue that he was asking for a yellow card. Well, the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul. No nonsense clearance. Uncomfortable in dealing with the cross. Hugo Mayer, well, no let up, plenty of pressure. Possession one. Promising sequence. Ronaldo, well, goodness me, into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp. Just failing to hit the target with his pass. And it'll be a throw-in. Well, you've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. And Ronaldo sends it in. Well, clattered away. Ronaldo! And there it is! 1-0! The efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations!
the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Iago Aspas. A very good tackle. Well, getting very close to the half-time interval and it's a narrow lead for the visitors to this point. Stuart, how would you assess what we've seen? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. Real chance. Trying to lob the keeper. Oh, how about that for a chip? Savour it. Pure brilliance. Well, as you can see, the defending is all over the place. That's far too easy for the attackers. The goalkeeper's got absolutely no chance there. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. So the sound of a half-time... Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Servi. It's with Iago Aspas. And a fine tackle. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Taliska! And a goal! Wonderful stuff as they accelerate away from the opposition. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. And continues his run. And space for him to cut in. Well, not quite accurate enough, but it was a close thing. Committed challenge. Anderson Taliska gives it a go. Well, flinging himself at it. Let's see about the delivery. Well, the header needed to be a lot better than that. Didn't really make the keeper work. No foul play, says the referee. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Ronaldo. Oh, surely. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. Away again, and this game was finished as a contest a long time ago. Well, space for them here. Iago Aspas. And he favours the inside route. 
A goal here, giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. Well, not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Well, these fans starting to leave in droves now, and you have to say you can't blame them. It's been a shocking display from their team. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And that'll be a Celta ball. Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Servi. Javi Galan. Determined defending. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. So on the cusp of the final whistle, and the visitors very much in command, Stuart. Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. Their movement, clever passing and energy have been a joy to watch. It's been a really oh, good win Oh, they could put it away, Stuart. Oh, dear. A moment to forget all about, I think. Well, he has to do a lot better there. He's gone for power, but he's completely miscued it. And so the referee blows for full time and it goes down as a victory for the visitors. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest.